Well, perhaps you've seen them all over the city of Corpus Christi. Christi. In fact, you may have one on your street where you live. We are talking about abandoned homes. Complaints about them and city neighborhoods continue to pour into code enforcement, but the process can take a long time. Action 10's John Rapolo live in our studio tonight with more for us, John. Yeah, good evening, guys. You know, they're an eyesore. They decrease property values in your neighborhoods, and they can bring health hazards and even crime. The city doing its best to deal with what appears to be tonight an unfixable problem. Let's go. Linda Flores lives next to a home that was recently seized by the county. How long have you been living next to this like this? Um, going on a year. A right? year. Mm -hmm. In fact, this Cheyenne Street home was just recently placed on the county's abandoned property auction list. You sick of looking at it? Yes, I am. Yeah. So um, hopefully they can do something about it. But to get to the auction block takes months, if not years. Oftentimes, it begins by homeowners not paying their taxes, physically leaving the property and letting it fall into disrepair. Then the city has no choice but to take action. When we have to step in to mow it, board it up, remove trash. The city hires contractors to do all of that work. We'll actually put a lien on the property to include whatever administrative fees that we've incurred throughout the process. Look at this home on Prince Drive. Grass not mowed for months. Rats and possums and stray dogs and cats have made this home for years. Even homeless people have broken in. There are homes that look just like this all over the city of Corpus Christi. And it's homeowners like Linda Flores who have to bear the brunt of all of it. It's pretty disturbing, mm -hmm. disgusting. Well, that's just a few words for it, right? Well, you can report neglected properties by calling the city. The number, 826-2689. You can go to kztv10.com. Click on this story for more information. For now, we're live in the studio. John Rapolo, Action 10 News.